Hello Virgo, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance and it is so great to be back with you again. Thank you for being here. Um, hope everything is good in your world, whatever you're doing. Hope your friends and family are all well. Uh, t tricky time for us in the world, but we are strong enough to get through whatever is chucked at us, right? We know we are, particularly you Virgo. <laughs> all right guys. Let's move into this and see what we have in store for you for mid-May. I'm using an Angel Oracles, which helps me channel through Archangel Michael and the Divine. And as always, I'm using the Gilded Tarot by Sira Marchetti. So if you're ready, let's start with our usual channeled message from Archangel Michael. He's shown me the letter N. Could be a name, beginning with N. I'm also hearing the word no. Somebody might be putting their foot down. Hmm. Michael's showing me a body of water. He's showing me a lake. Emotions are running deep, Virgo. Okay, Michael, do we have a visual, please? He's telling me to settle. Okay, here we go. All right. So, Michael, what do you have for my Virgos, please? Thank you. He's taking me to a school. He's taking me to a chemistry lesson. Chemistry lesson. And there's a, a teacher dressed in a white coat at the front of the classroom. He's scribbling instructions on a blackboard there's about eight children they're, they're stood behind desks and they've got test tubes and chemicals and litmus paper litmus paper in front of them wow <laughs> i'm now being taken back to school days myself okay so they are learning about different solutions And the teacher is asking the class to neutralize acid. Neutralize acid. The teacher is saying acid can burn. And he's teaching the children how to neutralize acid. That is it. Thank you, Michael. Okay, quick visual. So somebody here, Virgo, may be wanting to neutralize a situation, calm the waters. There could be some very deep emotions. There is somebody here, though, who is doing a lot of pushback, a lot of no, no energy. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. This is not right. Michael is telling me to delve deep into your emotions and to compromise, Virgo, to compromise. You may need to take a different approach. And if you are willing to help calm the waters in a situation, to talk things through is what I'm hearing. There will be peace, but it may be up to you to help neutralize a situation, to bring resolution to a situation that has been very difficult. Okay, thank you, Michael. All right. Archangel Jophiel is with me today, and also Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Michael. Hmm, neutralizing a situation. But you may need to <clears throat> change things up, Virgo. Michael's asking you to take a different approach, to think about compromise, to think about being flexible, in order to bring calm to a situation. Interesting. Cards really want to speak. Mm, a lot of movement. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, good. We have two people here who need to talk things through. A situation that has been difficult can be sorted out. But Virgo, the divine very clearly is telling you that you Yes, look at that, beautiful. We'll need to take a very calm approach. You will need to compromise. And also Michael is telling me to say to you, you need to see the other person's point of view. Wow, I've got a lot of pushback from the collective. Now, if this is somebody that has treated you badly, of course, you won't want to compromise, okay? But Michael is telling me this is going to be quite difficult, but you can neutralise the situation, okay? Yeah, you can neutralise the situation, okay? All right. To bring about a peaceful resolution or to bring success in a situation. You are going to need to be strong, Virgo. Okay, this is going to be an emotional situation, but you have it within you to sort things out. Okay, yeah. All right, five of swords in reverse under the deck. You are moving away from wanting to deal with selfish people, could be a selfish partner somebody who might have not behaved correctly. You're dealing with the aftermath of a shock, okay? Whatever that tower moment was, you are pulling back and your advice is to calm the situation. Look at things from a very big perspective for some of you, this is going to also enable you to potentially prevent a tower moment. And it does mean that you may need to stop fighting for something, Virgo. Okay? Now, I'm also hearing release control. Allow the energies to flow. And you will need to compromise. Okay? All right, my lovely Virgo, let's move the camera a fraction. There we go. All right, guys, let's move into this, see where it goes. We start, Virgo, with straightforward, honest communication. Pretty fast moving, honest communication. Okay, Virgo? Could be from an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this is normally the truth, it is fast action. Somebody wants to get something resolved. Somebody wants to get something done. Let's do this. This is what I think. And this is what I want to do in the situation. Crossing that is the Knight of Wands. Now, one of you out there, Virgo, could have heavy air or fire in your chart. I'm feeling this is your person. This is you and your person. Someone wants to talk to you about moving forward passionately. There could be a very straightforward conversation between the two of you. I don't know why I'm feeling this energy, the Knight of Wands energy. I'm feeling actually a little bit of anger. This can sometimes be passion, but a lot of readers mistake this as just passionately moving forward. Look at all that red fire. There could be a situation where somebody's angry and somebody here is wanting to have a very honest and truthful conversation. Now, Blue, Michael, I'm looking at this and Michael's telling me neutralize, neutralize. Somebody may be wanting to neutralize a situation where there has been an angry exchange of words. A situation somebody was very annoyed about, upset about. But there will be a resolution that is found in the situation. Okay, Virgo? There's a lot of action here. 
If you're in that situation, just remember you need to neutralize the fire, the acid, by straightforward and honest communication. Getting to grips with the situation and trying to see the bigger picture, okay? Not allowing that anger, that upset, that annoyance to push you to say or do something you may later regret, all right? In the past, Virgo, King of Wands in reverse energy. So you could have been connected to an Aries Leo Sagittarius. We have Aries shown very strongly here. This is someone, could be a man, okay, who is not taking action. Now, this could be something that you got very annoyed about. Someone not saying, um, somebody not doing what they said they would do. Not taking action, not moving things forward. Or you could have been dealing with someone, and it could have been a partner, could have been a love interest, who didn't behave the way they should have behaved. Maybe there were lies, maybe there was a bit of deceit, maybe somebody stepped out, okay? This is usually a man who could not, who cannot control his sexual desires, okay? So there could have been a situation where you found out somebody wasn't honest with you, could have been a partner, a love interest, as I said. And somebody kind of played the field. You might have found out about it and got very angry. After that, King of Wands in reverse energy, not taking action, a man who might have been unfaithful. With the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, there was no progress. There could have just been a very awkward stalemate. You did this, you did that, I'm not moving forward with you. Nobody budged in the situation. That wheel did not move forward. Stagnancy. There might have been a standoff between the two of you. I have to say it could be a little bit of ego. I'm not feeling from you, could have been from the other person. The other person might have known that they did you wrong, but they were damned as if they were going to apologise for it. Michael's showing me someone who is driving down a dual carriageway, a motorway, a freeway, right? And you cannot get off. There are bollards everywhere. There were red lines everywhere. Now, Virgo, it could be that they felt they had to follow certain rules. They had to do things a certain way. There was a sense of not, not being able to compromise. Maybe you didn't want to compromise, Virgo. And it could be that this person felt they had to follow a certain route to make you happy. This could be, and I dare, dare I say it because my mom's a Virgo and I love her, this could be a little bit of a sense of control wanting someone to do a certain thing at a certain time. You cannot veer from the road. I'm not going to allow you to take a shortcut. This is not going to happen. We need to stay on this road. It could be that if you are dealing with a fire sign in particular, or a Taurus, or a Virgo, like yourself, this person felt very restricted, a little bit controlled, okay? Um, and because of that, they might have been so desperate to feel that their life was in their hands, not your hands, that they stepped out. Too much control, too much restriction. What I mean is, Virgo, this could have been you putting rules and reg regulations in front of this person because you were fearful of them stepping out. Pe terrified, petrified that if you didn't say to this person, you need to do this, you need to call me at a certain time, I want to know where you are, what you're doing. 
it could be because you knew that this person might have a tendency to be unfaithful and you were determined that they weren't going to be unfaithful. They were going to follow the rules. They were going to do things the way they should be doing them. Remain faithful to you. Absolutely. That's what they should have done. But ironically, I feel that because of that sense of control and restriction, this person stepped out. I almost feel that if you left this person to their own devices and just relaxed in a relationship and just let things flow, they may not have felt that they needed to break free in some way. And do forgive me for saying that, Virgo, but that is the energy I'm feeling. So I'm feeling that we have two people here who believe they are both right. Your person might have said to you, well, you know what, I just felt you were ringing me all the time, making sure I was checking up on me, spying on me on social media, that I couldn't breathe in the relationship. And your reaction was like, well, I always knew at some point that you would step out. I always knew that you would be unfaithful. I had to keep tabs on you. Because how else would I know? So we might have a situation where two people here who love each other deeply, and I feel the love is still there, felt separately that the other person wasn't behaving the way they should. And this is blown up. And Michael keeps telling me, you need to neutralize the situation, Virgo. You may need to be the one to offer the olive branch. I'm not saying you need to apologize. You may feel you've got nothing to apologize for. You should. You may feel that the other person needs to apologize. But if you feel that it's not right for you to apologize because you did nothing wrong, at least open the door to calm communication. Try to stem the anger. Allow the other person to speak. Because this can be resolved. We can move you into resolution, peaceful resolution. But there is a need to compromise and there is a need to see the other person's point of view. In your thoughts, you may feel with a nine of wands that it's been a struggle to hold this relationship together. It's been difficult. You've kind of battled with someone and you're drained, you're weary, you're tired. And you may feel you need to let this go. For some of you, you have wanted to hang on to a situation so much, it's drained you. It's made you tired. You're depressed about this. You're, you're feeling as if you've got no energy left for this. And you may be nervous that your other person is going to give up on this. They won't. But Virgo, if you stand strong, okay, and say, no, I was in the right. I was definitely in the right. You were in the wrong. You are going to lose this person, Virgo. You are going to lose this person. This person is very strong. They like to be in control, particularly if you're talking about an Aries, right? They need to feel as if they are in control. They are also... Dare I say it, the babies of the Zodiac, okay? They are the firstborn, they get bored easily. Virgo, particularly, sorry, Virgo, particularly Aries men, do have a tendency for a wandering eye. They do, it's just in their nature. They are highly attractive, they have a lot of energy, they have a very attractive sense of youth and passion and fire, they make they take action, which is very sexy, but they do get bored easily. They don't do well with being in a relationship where there's any form of serious control. Ironically, the more leeway, the more length of rope, the more freedom that you give this person, the happier they are in a relationship. And ironically, the more chance you've got that this person is going to stick around. Once they feel a little bit as if they are bound to a situation, told what to do, their need to break free is huge and it can be overwhelming. So if you are in connection with an Aries, you need to approach this person with a very different energy. 
almost the opposite energy that you're used to portraying. Because you're sat with the energy of the Emperor. Now, you could work very well, be dealing with an Aries, or you are trying to take control of the situation. A little bit my way or the highway. A little bit, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. No, you were wrong. I was right. Neutralize the acid, Virgo. Because your person is wanting to resolve the situation with you. Yes, they are. Ace of Cups. They want to start again. They're coming in to talk to you about beginning again. Can we just sort this out? Right? Otherwise, why would they be coming into you so fast, wanting to talk to you, wanting to tell you the truth? You're meeting them with anger head on. But this cup is overflowing. This is the olive branch. This person does want to resolve this issue. And I'm saying that because I'm seeing the rest of the cards and this is not your other per your person wanting to move forward with somebody else. It is not. This is reunion. Your back is turned to their offer. Your back is, no, I'm sorry, you're wrong. You could have Aries in your rising moon or Venus. But they have a lot of deep love for you, Virgo. And they want to talk to you and they want you to be very calm when they talk to you. It's going to be difficult, yes. But just hear this person out before you let this go. What you're fearful of is the moon, fearful that this person is keeping secrets. Fearful that maybe there is a Cancerian in the mix. Fearing fear itself, potentially. Fearing maybe taking someone back who might have stepped out before because have they changed? Will they change? Are they going to do it again? Virgo, there are no guarantees in this life. Right? There are no guarantees. I mean, I, I don't want to bring this up, but here we are globally coping with this pandemic that none of us knew would happen. So now, you know, we're not concentrating on, will I get the pay rise? Right? Will I get to the shop to buy food before it closes? No, we're thinking, do I have enough food? Do I, am I actually going to keep my job? So a lot of us are going down to brass tacks again, realising that we have to go down to the basics of survival. And this may be you looking at the bigger picture or being asked by the divine to look at the bigger picture. Do you still love this person? Because this person, Virgo, still loves you. Is it a little bit of hurt, a little bit of heartbreak, a little bit of pride even? getting in the way of you accepting this person back. If the love is still there and it's mendable, be open to resolution. Because Virgo, deep down, what you're really, really wanting, despite the way you're behaving, despite what you're saying to this person, despite the block energy, the anger, is I love you. I want this to work. I want to be with you. Can we sort this out? You want that. For you Virgo women, this is your energy. So you are actually both wanting to sort this out. For some of you Virgo guys, you may be hoping that your person could be a water sign is going to be receptive to you moving forward with them. Neutralizing the situation. In the outcome, 
is someone who wants to stay in a long-term commitment. This is someone who's got their feet on the ground. They've invested a lot in the connection. This could be you, Virgo guys. Saying to your person, I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to be with anyone else. I've done a lot of thinking about this and I think we can sort this out. For you Virgo girls, this could potentially be you understanding that your partner does not want to be with anyone else. They want to work on this. They want to stay with you. They want to sort things out. This is a man who may have actually changed over the last few months. I know some of you are laughing at the screen, but seriously. This shock of you finding out what they did before in the past might have woken this person up to how much they love you. And they may now be really, really keen to put this situation in the past and for you to move forward and to be that faithful person. Fear that they might have lost you due to their own behaviour. Someone who is understanding how much you mean to them. I almost feel, Virgo, that you might have been dealing with someone who was a little bit flighty. They may not have been comfortable in a long-term commitment. I've got to be honest. This is someone who might have struggled to remain faithful in a connection. Somebody who might have struggled with the idea of happily ever after. Somebody who might have just spent the last few years before they met you dating countless people, not wanting to settle down, met you, everything happened quickly, and have been fighting the urge to be young, free and single. I feel whatsoever, whatever's happened has woken them up to understand that they do want to be with you. They do want to work on the partnership. They do want to be in a commitment. They have a lot of love for you. With the higher event, and yes, there could be a Taurus in the mix, okay? This is someone with the Eight of Swords who was terrified of marriage. Terrified of being held in a long-term commitment. Fearful of this. For those of you who are with someone that you are married to, this is someone who broke free because they felt restricted and now regret it. For some of you, you have been trying to steer the person that you love into long-term commitment that they have pushed against. For some of you, you might have given up hope you might already feel that we're not, we're not moving forward, there's no progress. Fear of not being able to hang on to this person. Fear that your ships aren't going to come in with this person. Ready, almost, to give up on it. Feeling a sense of anger, feeling a sense of frustration. But we have a demonstration of love. No, I love you. No, I don't want to leave. No, we can sort this out. So, Virgo, take a step back. Take a deep breath. Calm the anger. Calm the upset. And have that conversation. Yes, somebody might have moved forward passionately towards someone else. And there's a lot of anger about that. But if you communicate, look at that blue, you can heal the situation, heal the anger, heal the upset. Heal the wound. Both of you want this. So it's up to you. If you want to sort this out, you can. 
It's a question of how much you want to. This person is ready and willing to do what it takes to get you to trust them again. They've changed. They want this. They really want this, okay? So, put down that sword. This is you in warrior mode, angry, upset. I'm gonna cut you if you do this again, that sort of energy. Very angry, look at all that red in that sky. Drop that energy, Virgo, because if you faced a tower moment, you can get through it, you can rebuild. Or this could be you understanding that you had to approach this from a different direction, with a different energy to prevent the tower. Different for different groups of you. Okay? Very interesting energy. So... Let's move into Kippa, see where this goes. Archangel Michael, can we have a couple of cards, please, from the Kippa deck? Okay. Bad health. Now for me, this is a relationship in trouble. This is a situation that can be resolved with love and care and attention. Being flexible, seeing the other one's point of view. It can be resolved. This situation may even have caused you to feel unwell physically. We have a mature woman. Could be you, but this is a mature woman who is balancing her emotions. We have marriage. So this could involve a marriage. Two people who are legally married. And this marriage has been in trouble. We have somebody here who feels as if they've been on a long journey. They want to end a cycle. This could be someone coming to see you. This could be somebody who you were married to, who lived away, traveled a lot for work, in the military, whatever this is. And they're coming home. They want to come home is what I'm hearing. They want to come home. Message. Somebody here has been divinely guided to contact the other person. It could be a letter, it could be an email, but someone here wants to talk things through, wants to resolve a situation, okay? Beautiful. Virgo, I hope that's helped you. I'm leaving it there. Sending love and light your way, many blessings. Take care of you. If this is your story, do reach out, debraclair.com, and I shall be back very soon for your next weekly reading. See you then, guys. Bye now. <laughs>